Problem five is pretty much similar to problem four. We have an angular unconformity and the units above and below the unconformity have different attitudes. And the question is asking what was the attitude of the older units after the first phase of the formation. Actually, you are going to remove the effect of the second phase of the formation from the older units below the unconformity. This problem is quite similar to the previous problem. Let's write down the um, attitudes of the layers. But before that, let me I mark the north, south, west, east and the units above the unconformity are north 15 east 23 north west and below the unconformity i'm showing with b it's again the same strike but it's dipping towards north west 58 degrees so let's plot this but this time I'm going to do a little bit differently and rather than plotting the plane and pole, I'm going to do only poles. Okay, let's see how we can do that. So uh, first you find north 15 east. From north you go 15 degrees towards east and that's the strike of A. And then uh, we know we should rotate A and place it along the north-south direction of the stereo net and we should count 23 degrees from the northwest. So here is northwest. Along the west east line, you count 23, right? Uh, this is the plane if you want to draw it, but you can actually ignore this and count another 90 degrees, and that's the pole. So either counting 23 and 90, you can say this is 90 and 23, right? It's much easier. So this number, whatever it is, you can count from the center, right? So again, 2390 is the same as 9023, right? From the center, I go 23 degrees here, 10, 20, 23, right? That's the pole of the units A. And for unit B or units below the unconformity, we have the same strike, right, at the north 15 east. Again, it's dipping towards northwest. Sorry, here is north. Here is here is northwest. From the northwest, this time we need to go 58 degrees. Again, rather than counting 58 and 90, you say 90 and 58, right? So let's count 58. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 58. And that's my B prime. So you can keep your vellum paper as is, and you say you are going to push A prime to the center, right? 23 degrees. So you do the same for B prime. And let's count 23 from this point. So this is 8, 18. 20, 22, and 23. So this is the solution. I'm going to show with the S prime because it's a pole. And from that, I can count 90 degrees. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. And that's going to be my uh, corrected uh, plane, right? So here I have 5 degrees, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, and 90, right? So let's draw the plane. All right, as you see, the strike is the same as A and B. This is what we also expect uh, from these numbers, right? Because they are both are the same. So you can write here, I'm going to write, uh, let's call it as a S, right? And S, which is solution, is north 15 east. And what is the dip? 
is dipping towards, as you see, towards northwest. You can write northwest. How many degrees? 10, 20, 30, 32, 34, 35 degrees. Right, this is 35 degrees. So again, if you want to write in this way, or if you want to do it in the right hand rule, then um, it's the same thing, right? This is a dipping direction. Four fingers parallel with that, and this is the this is the one that you should write. So you place it north of vellum paper on the north of a stereo net, and this is about. 180, 190, 195. So I can write 195 slash 35 and that's going to be the solution for this question.